Hi guys! So I'm going to show you how I did my cherry blossom mani um, right here. Uh, it was on all of them, but I just did that new one, two, three, go gel tip on the last tutorial. So I haven't decorated this yet, as you can see. But I'm going to show you how I did these. Um, and we're going to do probably this one right here. And basically it is all the same. I just varied um, these two, the branches are starting from the same, approximately the same direction. This one, the branch starts from the bottom and goes up, but same flowers, same amount of leaves and everything. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you a sample on how I did that. So first I'm going to use my Big Bling. This is my new one, Stamper. Love it. My favorite Stamper. Um, so we'll move that out of the way. Actually, I think I put that over there. And then I'm using my Maniology scraper, which is my favorite scraper. And uh, and then the plate we're using is CJS05. And this is an awesome plate. I mean, you know, it was $6. It's definitely worth it. It's got some gorgeous flowers on there. And, um, and so we're doing, we're going to do, you know, the cherry blossoms on here. So I'm going to use the big one. Um, also, which will be, and it goes, it goes this way, blank space, then the next image, and then that image on this flower here. We'll be using that one. We'll be using the branch. We'll be using these leaves right here. And then we'll be doing these uh, medium cherry blossom and the little cherry blossom. So anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to use, first I'm going to use my hit, hit the Bottle. It's kind of a berry, I don't know, raspberry red-ish color. So we're going to do that. Anyway, I'll put all the names of everything that I use in the information box of all the stamping polishes and everything I use, all the product I use. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, oh, actually, wait a sec. I want to do the brown first because we're going to start with the branch. So I'm just, I'm using Maniology and brown, like a chocolate brown, and we're going to use it to pick up this branch first. And I've already prepared a nail, you know, to put this on. Um, on mine, I just used my favorite ASP by ASP brand, um, and it's, um, it's a, it's called uh, Pink Whisper, and it's for French manicures. So, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's our branch. And so, here's the nail that I already prepared. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start it probably from the top corner. So, probably from here, like that. And carefully roll it off. And there's that. Okay, and then we're going to put our, um, do our big flower next. And now we're going to use that hit the bottles kind of raspberry berry pink. And we're going to do this, that big one. We're going to do the blank space on, we're doing this big one. So we'll do that one first and then we'll go this way and then this way. Okay. And we're going to put it <coughs> about in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and put some polish on there. And I'm going to do it kind of to the diagonal because like a 45 degree angle or lower and do it diagonal swipe and then roll it and and there we go. And so that's our big, big one. And we're going to put that and you want to pick it up pretty much try and keep it the way you picked it up off of here, which would actually be like, uh, let me see, wait a minute. Okay, would be this way. Anyway, it's just easier to keep line up the next layers if you can do that. Um, and I'm going to put it about in the middle. So right about here, you know, and you'll have to go, of course, by the size of your nail on how you, you know, situate it. You want to just kind of carefully roll it off. There's our base. And then we're going to go to the next layer. And then I went to a different color. And so on my next one, we're using this one. It's a Born Pretty. Kind of a powdery pink, I guess, you know, almost like a vintage pink. 
So we're going to go on that second one now, second layer. Swipe it. I'm going to roll and I'm going to take off what I don't need on here. And so there's that. Which it never looks like a whole lot, but so I'm going to do it in the same direction like that, lining it up. There we go. And just gently roll off. And there it is. Um, and then we're going to do our third one is just that center part. So if you can see like on mine, and I'm using a pearl one. I'm going to use Bring on the Bubbly, which I just absolutely love by Clear Jelly Stamper. My favorite, kind of a champagne gold. So I love mixing the, you know, the creams with the pearls. So we're going to do that. And um, that one's this one right here. That one. I'm going to try and keep it, you know, so it's still lined up with the other previous layers. And we pick it up. And we've got to take off the excess that we don't want. So this really doesn't look like uh, much, if anything, if you can see it. And so we're just going to put that right in the center-ish, like that. see that. There we go. And there, let me kind of that way. There. There you go. Okay. And um, and then we're going to do our next one. Okay. So then we're going to do the medium. So on here, this uh, right there, that medium size cherry blossom. And we're going to start that one out in this color. But you can use whatever combination of colors you want. You know, I just like to have some contrast on my layers. So that one is, so that one starts here, the blank space, and then there's your outline, your detail. And then this is the center one right there. And you don't even have to use the center one if you don't want to. You know, it's completely up to you. So I'm going to start with this powdery pink for our base, and it's a blank space, so I'm going to do it, you know, lower, and I like to do it on the diagonal. I usually can get a better pickup. Okay, and there's that one. And we're going to put that one, I think, about, hmm, where do we want to put that one at? I think we'll put that one, like, right in here, right in the center of those two little branches right there. Okay, so let me do it like, look like that way. So hopefully you can see that good. And then just, you know, press and gently roll from side to side, one side to the other. And there it is. Okay. And then next we're going to do our outline one, and we're going to do a darker color for our outline. And we're going to use another Born Pretty. And this one's kind of a rose color, you know, it's a darker one. So we're going to do that, and that's going to be on this detail one right there. And then just swipe it that way and roll it. And let me get off what we don't want over here. Let me see if I can turn my stamper the right direction. There we go. All right, so there's that. There's our detail one. And so I'm going to line that up. And there we go. Okay, and I'm pressing, and I'm just gently rolling. Don't get in too big of a hurry, or you'll end up pulling some of that off. Okay, I think we did good. And then now we're just going to do this little tiny one. We're going to do one of these little tiny ones over here. And I think we're going to put that one, you know, we're going to offset it. Let me see. What do I want to do with that one? Yeah, we're going to offset it somewhere over here um, coming from this branch. I mean, you could put it anywhere that you want to. I'm probably going to do it over here. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll change it up a little bit from this one. 
I don't know. We'll <laughs> decide as I go along. Okay, so on that one, we're going to do, uh, I'll start it with a light, this really super soft light uh, baby pink. It's by Manology, formerly BMC. And on this one, we're going to use this teeny little one. And we just do the same thing we did on the medium one, you know, and the big one. We're just doing the blank space first. There's the detail. And on this one, you probably can't even see it. But there's a teeny little center right there that's got polish over it. The other thing that's nice about this plate, especially in doing this cherry blossom mini, is there's two branches. So there's two branch, two sets of branches and two sets of leaves. So then you don't have to clean it as often. <laughs> okay, so let's get the little one on here. And then there's that a little tiny. And let me see, where do we want to put this one at? Well, I'm just going to offset it to the side of that big one. And I don't know how much it's going to show up right now. Hopefully it'll show up when I get the detail on it because it's, you know, pretty light. And it does almost blends in with that background, right? And then we're going to do, um, this one's a Born Pretty, and it's like a, definitely, I would say, like a raspberry to, I don't know, it's a brighter raspberry pink or something like that. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're doing our little, our detail on our little cherry blossom with. So that'll help it show up better. And that one's a little bit neonish. So we'll get that on there. Line that one up. Let's see. How about if we go... There we go. Here's a little tiny one. So that helps it show up a little bit better. And then we're going to do, we want to do our leaves next. And I did the same amount of leaves on, same amount of flowers, same flowers, same amount of leaves on all of them. So the leaves now we're going to use, we're going to use the cleaner ones down here. And we're going to do the blank space first. And then we'll do that one next. But we're going to start with this one. And we're going to do that with this, love this, beautiful teal. It's one of my favorites from Born Pretty. So we'll, I'm going to turn this around a little bit so we can do that. And we see. So I think we'll start out and we'll do a leaf somewhere around here. You know, and you can put them anywhere you want. We'll do one down here and maybe one up there or something like that. So kind of fun, easy, really fun. So we'll just scrape that leaf and roll, pick it up. Let me get off what we don't want. There's our little little leaf. And so we're going to put that about in the middle somewhere. Maybe I'll put this one down at the bottom. You know, you can just figure out where, however you want to do it. Put it wherever you want. And I just kind of changed it up, you know, on each of my nails. And then we'll go ahead and, here, let me press that down. And we're going to go ahead and get another little leaf. And we're just doing three of these. So same thing, real easy. And we'll add it up. I think I'll do it. I'm going to go this way. And add it about in the middle-ish. So right there. Okay, so press and roll. And then let's see, where else do we want to put one? So you can put one, you know, you could put one down here or you can put, you know, one up here. Um, so which am I going to do? Um, hmm. I think I'm going to put one down, another one down here. I think that's what I'll do. So let's get that, get another one of those. Get all of our blank space leaves done. Leaves done first. Oh, looks like I have to clean it. Darn. It's dried, too dried out. So I'll get some acetone. I'll use pure acetone. Cotton pad. 
and get it off that leaf so we can maybe I'll clean all of it just in case while I'm at it. Okay, clean off my scraper. There we go. All right, we should be good now. <laughs> All right, so here we go with our third leaf. Let's try this again. And we'll roll. Yep, perfect. Awesome. There's our third leaf. And we're going to put that, I think, down about, I don't know, somewhere. I put it there. <laughs> Ended up putting it over there. So now we're just going to go ahead and um, we're going to get our detail. And um, I think my little piece of my petal came off. So I don't know, you know what, instead of doing that, I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, stamp just a little part of my uh, base, base of my fl big flower, little petal peeled off of this. So I'm going to, let's see, where's that big flower at? So which part is it? So I'm going to fix it here. So let's go this way. So it was part of this one right here. So I'm just going to pick up just the piece, the petal missing, <laughs> and add it to my flower. I guess I didn't have it stuck down all the way or something. I don't know. I'll fix it. All I did was just add that little bit onto that big flower, a little bit to that petal. I'm a little anal, so <laughs> I don't even know if you could have noticed, but that's okay. So now we're going to do, I'm going to use this, um, and this is Sassy Monster by Clear Jelly Stamper. It's another one of my favorites of theirs. And we're going to just do the detail on that leaf now, on our leaves. Uh, and you, if you wanted to, you know, this is really subtle, um, but I love it. So I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. I hope you can. Really soft and subtle. And so I'm just going to go over that base leaf. So let me get it on there. So I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. It's just real pretty. Um, and then I'm going to do another one just like that with the other leaves. And, you know, if you want it to show up more, then you could use like a silver or gold. You know, it'll that would definitely make it show up more if you want to do that because you can barely, but it's really pretty, so I like it. So I'm going to do that one over up at the top one. So let me line it up. So hopefully you can see that. So just pressed and I'm roll it off. And let's see if you can see that top one. I put the detail on. And then I think on our third one, maybe it'll help you see it better. I'm going to go ahead and do Born Pretty Silver. And um, I kind of like mixing this, you know, the pearls on here, and I sort of like mixing them up too. So, so let's do that leaf detail for our third leaf with silver. And hopefully you'll be able to see it better. Uh-oh, that didn't work. I have to clean it. Sometimes with these pearls, you know, Sometimes you have to, you can't, you you know, go over the same image as many times because uh, something about the metals in the pearl, I guess, um, but that's pretty good. We got two of them, but sometimes you can get more than that. Uh, sometimes I can't over the same image with the pearls multiple times. I'm going to, so we got that clean, so let's do the silver over it. We're just doing the detail once again with silver this time. And so I scraped, I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna take off what we don't want. And it, oops, and it did pick up good this time. So hopefully you can see that, there's the silver one. Okay, so we're gonna put that one on this leaf right here. That leaf right here. Okay, so let me line it up. Okay, let me do it this way. 
There we go. And I think I'll just show you upside down. So there's the silver on there. I'm going to press and gently roll. And there it is. There's our silver. So hopefully you can see that one over here. And there we go. You can see it good. Okay, so then I would just put my top coat over it, but I would do smudge free first. And so my new bottle, yay. So we're just gonna put that on. And um, then I get a generous amount. I go down the center and then I just go from side to side, just like that. And try not to go over it. Um, if you can do it in one time, that's perfect. If you have to do a second, you know, swipe second somewhere, you know, usually you're okay with that, but try not to do it three, four, whatever, because even with this, you can smudge, you know, or drag your polish, stamping polish. So now this will dry really fast. It's water-based. Um, and so you could either do another coat over this. You could do whatever your favorite top coat is over it. You could do gel, top coat, matte, whatever, you know, at this point. Um, and so really pretty. So let me put this over here and with my other, with our other sample, it's got a little bit different backgrounds you can see. And, uh, let me see if I can line these up a little bit straighter. Anyway, so there's, there's two of them and we've done our leaves a little bit different positions. It gives it a little bit different look. And if you're doing all your nails, you know, like I had mine, <laughs> Then if you want to alternate, if your branch, you know, you do your branch up in this corner on one, going down from top to bottom, that one you could start at the other corner, or you can start from the bottom or whatever, just, so I just alternate them, you know, and even though you're doing the same flowers and leaves and the amount and everything and where you put them approximately, you know, that changes up the look of it, um, it gives it a nice balance. And then also I did uh, another sample nail and I just used different colors, and the only thing different I did here besides, so the background polish, gel polish color is different, of course. And then I used some different colored, you know, pinks, more of a, of a magenta and pink. Um, and then also I didn't use that big flower. I just stuck with the medium and small cherry blossoms. And I did my same leaves, but I just did, you know, a dark green and then I use gold for my detail on that one. And it gives it a completely different look. Really pretty, huh? So I really like it both ways. And if you're going to do the bird, all you would do with the bird one is, the only difference on the bird one is I did everything else the same. Um, you know, my branch comes from this corner, goes down. And all I did was I just took a piece of, let me see, a piece of a branch, of the branch, um, anywhere you want. You can take it up, you know, this piece here, you could take that piece there, and then I just, you know, added it to coming off of my main branch. And, you, but you just got to make sure you've left enough room if your nail is big enough, if you're going to add the bird, you know, that you have enough room. Um, and the bird plate, if you decided you wanted to do that is, um, so this one, once again, the flower one is CJS. 05 that's the flowers in the branch um, and it's an awesome plate to have and then the bird plate is cjs 30 and the bird that i used you can use any bird on here you want but the bird that i used for this one was this one right here so i started with the blank space you know doing i think i started with brown for this but you can do whatever color you want and then i used a blue you know the bottom half of the bird i did blue um, you could use, you know, whatever different blues or whatever colors you want, red, whatever. Anyway, but I didn't do all of them. These are, this goes blank space, this one, this one, this one, this one. I just used these threes. And this one here has also with whatever extra color you want, you know, to go on the bottom half of the bird. It has his eye and it has his, um, let me make sure. Oh, okay. Okay, so if you want to do his eye, then you better do uh, these four because his eye is on here. This one has just his beak, but it doesn't have his eye. Or you could just do one, two, three, 
because um, this does have its beak and do, you know, if you have a tiny dotting tool, do his eye with the dotting tool or a detail brush. But, or you can just do all of these, but I didn't need all this, this, you know, down here. But I think it can start making it look a little too busy. That's what I think, you know, with the bird. So anyway, so that's all I used for this Manny. And so, you know, I hope you give it a try and have a lot of fun. It's really pretty, you know, and if you put a white behind it or whatever, as you saw with this one, you know, it really changes the look just by changing the colors. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon above so you'll get a notice on my next new tutorial, which will be really soon. So thanks so much. Bye, guys.